My name is Leah McEwen. Um, I'm a visual arts teacher. I'm the head teacher of creative and performing arts at Granville South Creative and Performing Arts High School. I would say roughly about 60% of a Muslim or Arabic background. Um, there's a good deal of Pacific Island background. Uh, they would be the two main cultures, I would say, that are here. I was used to um, a very traditional um, Anglo version of creative and performing arts. They have their own visual arts, they have their own um, techniques and styles and, and I was just too narrow-minded, I guess, to, to take that into consideration. I have learnt, boy have I learnt. As a child, I guess I always leant towards creativity, but always involved in making, always, right from a child. More oh, 20 years ago, we went to art school because we loved it, but because we wanted to either teach or go on and do some sort of humanities or something with, with the degree, not necessarily become artists. After um, I graduated from a teaching degree, I was given a targeted graduate appointment, which means um, you are automatically placed into a school as in a permanent capacity, which was fabulous. Um, it meant moving down to Wollongong. Um, and I stayed there. I worked there for 10 years. During that time, um, and in the absence of a head teacher, I became uh, the coordinator of visual arts. But this was an opportunity that was a little bit different. This school is um, in the suburb of Guildford in Sydney. It is highly multicultural. Uh, I believe at last count it is approximately 80% um, non-English speaking background. So it was something so far removed from what I was used to. Um, but the attraction for me was it had just been named a creative and performing arts high school. So that would mean I would be, I guess, starting the program going. And I know certainly this school was overdue for, I guess, an uh, improvement in their image. Ideally, my position is that I um, am the head teacher of the faculty, which is, includes dance, drama, music and visual arts. I'd never heard Lebanese drummers and I'd never heard a group of Polynesian girls singing and chanting and when you hear all those things and start to understand there is so much more than just that stereotypical performing arts that we know and, and are so used to seeing, it's just a whole new opportunity and I, it's an exciting one. This is, I guess, my first experience with a lot of these cultures and they're always really happy to explain anything, to tell me about it. They're really proud of where they come from. And, and it's funny how culture and religion feed their way into most lessons here, I've noticed. And it's because it's such a huge part of their life. Certainly, visual arts is not like maths in that you need to be silent for the entire lesson. But you need still the students to understand that... Um, there's a structure to your lesson, there's a time when they have to sit and listen silently. I always treat kids with respect, always. And I, I must say there's been very, very few times where I haven't received respect in return. The media loves to portray teenagers, school groups, groups of boys, Muslim groups of boys, as threatening, um, disrespectful. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, by nature, they're just children. They're all the same. Um, if, if treated with respect, if listened to, if helped, assisted, taught properly, guided, uh, and they respect you because you have shown them respect, you'll get anything you want out of them. The worst thing I have seen, and I see it off and on, is from um, practising teachers who come into the school on practicum is trying to be their friend. And in actual fact, the more time you spend around teenagers, the more you realise they don't want a friend. They've got plenty of friends in the playground. They want someone who is going to be fair. But I have always known that's what I wanted to do. There, there was never any question.